So I'm sure you guys have noticed lately that the videos have been like a little bit different and it's because I've been really trying to go outside of my comfort zone and make mm -hmm. videos interesting for you. So this one is one of those and I'm really excited to show it to you. I had a really, really good idea that I was really, really excited about. I had an idea of flying out my biggest fan to High Five Studios. And it's an idea that I started getting really, really excited about. But here's the thing, with like these vlogs lately, I want everything to gear towards something. I want there to be a story here. So I don't know what that is just yet. I'm gonna grab some people around here to help me come up with something when my biggest fan gets here. I want something to happen. I have some ideas, but I want to pitch them to see which one's the best idea. But before we even get into that, I gotta tell you a little bit about this dude. The story first starts with Internet Icon. I know some of you longtime viewers have followed me on Internet Icon for quite some time. That was six years ago. For those of you that aren't familiar, Internet Icon was like an internet reality TV show that I won. And the next Internet Icon is Matthias! But the next bit was after a while, I actually saw him because he like tweeted at me or something like that. And I just happened to click on his profile. So I saw his art and what was really, really, really funny about it was that I pulled Amanda over and I was like, take a look at this. And she goes, um, I didn't know you wanted to make new channel art. I was like, that's not my channel. He had mimicked my channel art so good to the point where my wife couldn't even tell the difference. He studied my style. That's when I was like, ooh, I feel like I finally made it. Someone's actually respecting me for what I'm doing and not just laughing at my jokes. So then I kind of forgot about it. I didn't follow him or anything like that. I just kind of moved on and it was like, all right, whatever, that's cool. I got some mad respect there. But then I shifted up all my content to Minecraft content, made a Minecraft server, and lo and behold, he joined it and he was on it. And I was like, yo, what up? I recognize that name. But the story doesn't end here. The thing I remember most about him, I think, was the fact that he wasn't like this in your face fan that was like, basically, he never asked for a shout out. <laughs> What's this video for? This video, in case you guys are wondering why I'm blogging around the office, this video is I'm flying my biggest fan all the way to Hi Fi Studios. Stop! No, I'm not even kidding. Who? Wouldn't you like to know? I would like to know. Well, we're getting to that. But the idea is that it's gonna be this fun, huge trip for them. I need some help. We can't just have it just, oh, he flies out and that's great. Oh. So think, think, I'm gonna come back to you. Maybe a uh, flick. I said, I'll come back. Yeah, okay. not right now, Woods. <laughs> so the next time I ran across him, he made a parody of me. You remember that, right? You remember that parody of the Matthias channel? Quinn? Quinn. What's going on, guys? I am Quinelius, and today we're gonna be looking at 10 strange Amazon items. Dude. <laughs> How good was it? I, it's honestly probably <laughs> still one of my favorite YouTube videos ever. <laughs> you don't understand. When I saw it for the first time, I was dying laughing. I had quite a few employees at that time, so they were just cracking up at the fact that someone was just leveling me so good. And Matt was just like, okay, laugh it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. I thought it was hilarious. Are you kidding me? I showed you all. Yeah, but it was after the fifth time we watched it. <laughs> 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 so I'm sure many of you are wondering, wait, Quinn? Quinn is who you're talking about? Your editor of this exact vlog? Yes, Quinn. Before you freak out and you're like, he's not your biggest fan, he's just someone that you hired. Let me expand. Look who it is! Mr. I think I can show up to the shoot any- Well, he can, you're CEO, which wait. makes sense. Oh yeah, you're right, I'm super late, huh? Do you want some Gatorade? I'm not CEO anymore, Woods is. Woods is CEO? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can bottle flip a Windex bottle. Bottle flip a Windex bottle? Oh, dude. <laughs> you take a look at Connor's bits, it's just one thing, and it's can he bottle flip anything. <laughs> so I have been working with Quinn. He's been my editor for, I don't know, how long? Four Two months. months. Two Three months. months. Three, okay, you, none of you know. After I saw that parody, I was like, this kid knows what he's doing. This kid could absolutely kill it at High Five Studios. And then I was like, okay, and I approached him, and he was like, yo, so I'm only like, 16 and I was like what you're only 16 years old at the time when he first started following me He was 12. He was 12. I was 24 and I was like I just learned this stuff what? Matthias I am <laughs> hires children to work at a studio <laughs> that didn't happen though I didn't hire him because he was underage and it was like super super complicated and then he started <laughs> vlogging And then I was watching his vlogs and I was like these are so good He could be my editor so I hit him up and I was like listen I really want to hire you We're gonna have to go and do tons of research and tons of like legal loopholes to make this happen I don't why I said loopholes, there were no loopholes. The, the issue is that California needs work permits for minors and Arizona doesn't. So how does, how, how, 
Finally we did and he's been working for me like three months. I can't wait to meet Quinn. I'm gonna be honest with you. So here's the thing. I don't want to just end the video with just, oh look at High Five Studios. We got to pull something off. I have some ideas. One of the potential ideas is I'm gonna fly him out here. We can rent one of those like party vans or something like that and go pick him up from the airport and it'd be like a bougie thing. Alternatively, I could be the driver yeah. dressed up as something else yeah. and then take him somewhere else yeah. and he doesn't yeah. know. Duct awesome. tape his wrist so, and put him in a table. Like yeah, sometimes Connor takes things too far. Yeah, I don't know about that. My idea was to get first class. I haven't even ever flown on a first class flight. There's also the idea of a party van. We go in there and we're just like, what's up, dude? And it's just like super, super bougie. The flight is bougie. The van's bougie. And then we pull up to a storage unit and like there's some desk and I'm like, all right, guys, let's work. <laughs> so now it's later in the day and we've finally had some time to chat and finalize our idea. All right. So have we decided? Um, on what? Take a nap and cuddle. Oh, the, yeah, we're getting a party bus. Yeah. <laughs> is that what we want to do? Um, I know it's like five hours later. <laughs> later in the day, but to them it's like a second seconds. later. <laughs> so done. here's what we're gonna do. It's probably gonna be an early flight. Early in the morning. How long is he staying? For a day? <laughs> How dumb would that be to pick someone up at 9 a.m. in a party bus? <laughs> <laughs> There's some first time Vegas kind of things where they're like, oh, this is how you party in Vegas. We set up a desk for him and I say, so here's your new workspace. Here's where you're going to be working from. Try to put in some time finding a place down here. Are you really going to hit him with that? What do you think? I say go for it. Let's see what his response is. He's 18 now. He's a big boy. He can move. He can move. <laughs> but he'll be like, but, but I, I'm going to like fly back. I thought it was like, and I'll be like, oh no, I didn't get you a round trip ticket. Kidnapping my biggest fan. I got a new title for you. <laughs> so I was totally going to do that. But later in this video, you'll see that Quinn makes the joke that that, oh yeah, he only had like a one-way flight and like he's staying and then I was like, oh, I had to throw that out really quick. <laughs> so that couldn't happen. <laughs> We're gonna meme it hard. So stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, that's the plan. He's gonna get a flight out. I'm gonna have him record. Then I'm gonna react to it. It's gonna be super funny. I don't think he's ever flown first class. I haven't. I haven't either. I have no clue. Wow, peasants. Have you? No, I've never even been on a plane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've never even been on a plane? No. That's another video we're gonna do. Paul's first time on a plane, right? Yo, that would be lit. <laughs> I know this sounds really lame, but like this video if that's something that you actually want to see. And also suggest some other crazy things down in the comments below that you'd like to see us do because we may actually do them. Here's the next step. I'm going to call him and tell him. I'll FaceTime him. What if he just says, no, nah, I can't go that damn busy? No, come on. Why would he not? He's the, he's, he's my biggest fan. <laughs> he's like, I got a swoon meeting. <laughs> I got a swoon meeting. That's his clothing brand. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. So this is the point where I asked Quinn to grab his buddy and FaceTime me. They had no idea what I was going to ask them. I'm waiting for an important business call right now. I don't know who it is yet. Yeah. Quinn's not telling me. So. I won't tell you who it is. 2.33 right now. He's uh, three minutes late. Unacceptable if you ask me. Yeah, Should we get suits on? Yeah. I don't like FaceTiming anyone. I don't even like FaceTiming this kid. That's mean, bro. I mean, like, I'll do it, but I'm still like, ah, we. Because there's like a slight delay. Then you talk over each other and then you both go, oh, oh, it's six minutes now. Maybe I'm on the wrong time zone. Hold up. He's running late, bro. What do we do? I think I should go home now. Yeah, I was late. Honestly, I was taking Luna to the potty, so it was a valid excuse. Being a father. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go call Quinn and let him know that I wanna fly him out to the studio. Oh, that's the call. I thought you were calling him just for editing stuff. No, no, no. Like, okay. <laughs> Could you possibly help me book the flight? She's pretty good at that by stuff. help, he means can you do it? No, I'll mess no, it up. no, no, no. Oh, you mean because I'll mess it up? I'm gonna enlist your expertise, but first I'm gonna go call Quinn, give him the good news. Let's set it up. We've been waiting for this important for business five meeting hours. for five hours. We're kidding, but people might think we're actually mad. So let's give him a call. All right, we're good to go. Let's do this. Let's just get into it. Oh, um, look, he's calling. Should I do it or no? Yeah, just do it. All right, see you guys. So okay. uh, what's going on, man? Uh, I wanted to actually tell you something. All okay, right. Okay, what's up? If you're interested, I want to fly you and your buddy out to Hi-Fi Studios to uh, come see the studio. No joke? No joke. No, like, why would I, why would I joke about it? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not messing with you. Yeah. You guys down? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah, let's do it. All right, man. There's one catch, though. Okay. There's one catch. The only thing I need you to do is vlog your entire trip. Awesome. You can do that? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, Sounds man. Good, yeah. You can obviously upload the whole vlog to your channel, too. In fact, if you want to probably see that entire vlog, go check out Quinn's channel. But yeah, all right, man. I'm excited. I'm going to email you some questions, basically, with, like, your full names and, like, your addresses and stuff so I can buy those tickets and everything else. Yeah, man. I'm stoked. Awesome. Right. You know that call is real because of the poor internet connection? Because if you live in the States, like, it, it's like watching Netflix with a dial-up connection. He seemed pretty excited about that. So the only thing to do now 
is to book flights, book the travel like bougie bus that I'm talking about. We're good to go. They're excited. He's gonna bring his friend Chess. Chess, Chess, Chess. Every time I hear Chess's name, I don't know, what's, it, what's your full name? Chestnut? <laughs> Next day, Chess and Quinn have sent me all of their details. It's interesting because Chess is 17, Quinn just turned 18. Again, this is kind of like a birthday thing for him. But some airlines have issues with minors flying, so I'm just gonna make his best friend his adult accompaniment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, that's just funny to me. I, okay, it's, that's all. I'm gonna do everything, and then I'm gonna have Amanda inspect it. Wow, flights are cheap. $100? That's actually so cheap. That means we can upgrade to first class. <laughs> Okay, Google has a tool called Google Flights. Makes it 10 times easier. Thanks, Google. Now, put some work into YouTube. <laughs> All right, I think I definitely got this down. So I got two people arriving at nine in the morning to LA and leaving the next day at 7 p.m. So they have technically like two full days. All I gotta do now is book the hotel. I don't wanna pay for this until Amanda checks it because I might be missing something that I'm really... I was pretty confident with the flights that I had set up, uh, but Cue Amanda to shatter my confidence. <laughs> I think I picked out all the flights, but you're gonna have to double check this for me, okay? I just picked it out based on the availability <laughs> of the tickets. Did you check other places or did you just do a- uh, I did a Google <laughs> flight search and for, it seemed pretty oh, easy. American Airlines came up first because it starts with A. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Southwest is usually pretty cheap too, so. Yeah, we'll see, check Delta. Okay, I guess that works too and it's a little cheaper. <laughs> this is why I booked the flights, guys. Well, I've just never done it before. I'm sure now I can do it perpetually well because I'm a learner. Mm -hmm. Guys, what's your favorite airline? Down in the comments below, let me know. Everyone says Southwest is the best. Is this is this it? Is, are we good then? Um, I'm gonna pick the seats. Oh, I actually just discovered that they're born a couple days apart, Chess and Quinn, but a year apart. <laughs> I'll say it's for both of their birthday celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> Just discovered it's Chez with a Z. Evidently it's an inside joke that everyone calls him Chess, but his name's Chez. I'm white, what do you want? You want me to pronounce his name correctly the first time? I can't do that, sorry. <laughs> Until then, I'm going to spend some time with my family. So flash forward to dangerously close to Quinn's flight, literally the day before, not even 24 hours before, 12 hours before, and we still hadn't gotten a party bus and Turns out it's way more difficult than you think to find uh, like a shuttle bus that has permits to pick up at LAX. I guess that's a thing. Domi came through. Quinn, thank her, because guess what she got? Party bus! Party bus. We can actually pick him up from LAX in a party bus. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That is <laughs> so cool. Water. We're picking Quinn and Chez up tomorrow, and I'm super excited about this. Finally, it's the day of and some people are more happy than others that they have to wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> it's 15 minutes until we need to go, and this kid is still packing. You know what they say, honesty is the key, and I'm being honest with you right now. We're about to fly first class. Key with being first class is like, you gotta look the part. They don't know that you only have $2 in your wallet. I don't, but I'm like, wearing you're a Harvard. Harvard business school student. You got some glasses on because you're very, uh, Smart. Yeah. How did you guys miss the Harry Potter joke? He even had like a crest, an emblem on his shirt. Like, how'd you miss that joke, guys? Come on. <laughs> you look like you could be first class in my no. book. I'm gonna buy three breakfast sandwiches <laughs> and eat them with my pinky up because first class. And you know what I'm gonna do with the other two? <laughs> Give them to the poor. This is why you should never fly first class. Yeah, no, it goes to your head. I just call him M because I'm on more than a first name basis. <laughs> first letter basis. Yeah. Or sometimes I can call him N, which is like half letter basis. I just call him U. I'm on a half upside down letter basis. <laughs> Let's go. It's so Stop. small. We're going there for one day. I feel like one t-shirt in there, maybe. <laughs> I packed a pretty good amount. Shut up. This is a really tall parking garage. We're on level 40. It's so funny. Is this the first class elevator? Yeah. One. First class. That's third class. Actually, I don't see any first class on here. Four, two. We're at the wrong thing, right? There's no first There's class. No we might have to miss our flight. Look, second class, third, fourth. First class. That's where we're going. No one in the line. We're even in the right place. This says 19. This is 19th class. It's not first class. I think it's 5 a.m. I don't have any updates for you besides the time. I thought they should know what time it was, right? Yeah, I'm hungry. We bored in 10 minutes. <laughs> just kidding. I'm pretty bored right now. I'm just waiting here. <laughs> it is now 5. 36.
In the morning, everyone else is asleep. I'm supposed to be meeting Paul, Tanner, Connor at the studio at 6 a.m. exactly. Quinn has already been up for ages, but we had a slight bit of a complication. The complication was that I was like, hey guys, we're leaving at 6 a.m. and Paul didn't get back to me. So Tanner was like, I don't know, I don't know, Paul's not getting back to us, Paul's not getting back to us, so let's invite Woods. And I was like, all right, let's invite Woods. But then after we all went to bed, Paul's like, nah, I'm coming. <laughs> he finally got back to us. And then before we woke up, since Paul lives so far away, he's like, all right, I've left. And since Joe Marina booked this whole thing, I don't know if we can have more than six people. One of them might get the boot as they get to the studio here. I mean, of course I told Woods before he left, oh, this might happen. Still sucks. Pretty early. Woods is like, ah, if I can't go, I'll just go eat breakfast. I got some vlogs to edit. Imagine Woods editing at 5 a.m. What's that? You can't? Yeah, that's right, because he'd never do it. <laughs> He would just go back to sleep, like on the couch down here or something. The Skymo? Oh, it's not even Skymo. This water though, <laughs> first class. Dasani though, it says uh, first class water. Wait, put your pinky in. Oh. Wow. Got to the studio. Looks like Connor and Woods are here. The camera can't even focus this early, dude. I can't focus this early. <laughs> uh, is that Connor's car? I guarantee you he's in it. Why would he be in his car? He loves his yeah. truck so much that I think he'd rather be in his truck than in the office. All right, let's see. Connor? Yo. How early you get here? <laughs> he's already working over here, dude. Yeah. He just knew I'd be coming in the office and he's like, gonna look busy. <laughs> this light is so harsh right now. It's because this light is like 6,700 degrees Kelvin. Blue base, it's 5,000. So We're is like... in blue base, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm in orange base right now. <laughs> Waking up this early can be slightly disorienting. <laughs> He's still getting dressed in there? What's going on? What's going on, Paul? Yeah, I shouldn't have come. It's gonna, it's a battle to the death now with you and Woods. What do you mean? Well, if there's not enough space. Oh, uh, well then uh, he can have it. I got dude. three hours of sleep. Oh, I know, so did I. But Quinn will be happy to see you if we can all fit. Yeah, dude, don't look so sad. It's four in the morning, dude. <laughs> Everyone's here on time, it's Tanner. I thought one of them was gonna be late. Let's see how much uh, Tanner is a morning person here. What's up, dude? <laughs> How's it feel to have a camera on you at like 5 a.m.? Yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way, man. <laughs> Your boy signed up for it. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's do this. We got two minutes until the guy shows up, supposedly. His name is Paul. <laughs> the driver. There, you see it? That's it, he's coming in. Dude, he's wearing a suit and tie, dude. How's hey, how's it going, Paul? Paul? Right. You cool being on camera? No problem. Awesome, dude. Well, this is Paul, our shuttle bus driver. Hey, what, you got Paul. a question? Yeah, um, so originally they said six people. Is seven people okay? Yeah, no problem. Hey, there we go! <laughs> We're there all we worried. Go. He's like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Let's do it. Look at this, this is awesome. You ever been in a party bus at 5 a.m.? McDonald's is the first stop. I'm such a bad boy, dude, I'm not wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> such a bad boy? <laughs> dude, it's kind of like- Oh my gosh. I don't know, I can't formulate a full thought. I'm too early. <laughs> the cool thing to do, like when you're in a party bus like this, is wear sunglasses inside. For You've never been in a party bus. <laughs> I've never been in a party, so. <laughs> Look, he's actually wearing his sunglasses. <laughs> My future's too bright, you know what I'm saying? Is there actual caffeine? Oh, that's diet, though. Can you drink it out of one of the champagne glasses? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting weird already. <laughs> alright, alright, first stop is McDonald's. Let's do yeah. this. Oh, okay, for sure. Didn't even know this McDonald's was open yet. This is one of those modern McDonald's. <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna give a big shout out to Crown Limola. Right there, they gave us a discount. They're nice. <laughs> They're nice. Now we can party. We thought we were gonna take an Uber. It was like an hour from LAX to the studio, right? So I was like, oh, this is gonna be a long Uber ride. This dude just texted me, oh, we're 25 minutes away. I looked on his story. What is this? Partying early today with Tanner. Is that not a party bus? <laughs> hey, what do you have in store for us, Matt? I know, Matt. Maybe he did something to the roof of his Tesla. I don't know. The, the lights are now strobing to the music, Tanner. Yeah. And it's time to I'm twerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my We're right outside of 3H. He's pulling up. I hope he's not like vlogging me from afar being like, ha ha ha, they can't find me. <laughs> I see it. This is ridiculous, dude. Um, Does that mean there's like multiple people in here? Does that mean multiple people makes you nervous, Quinn? Ah? Oh my god, that's them. They really got like a chauffeur wow. and everything. Go. That's them. Wait, wait. That's them it's right there. Well, they don't know how to get in. He thinks we're going through the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey! What's up, that's dude? Crazy. What's up, man? What's, up? What's going on, dude? Wow, you guys are all here. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, my dude? What's up? 
Check this bus out, guys. How was your flight? It was good. Yeah? First class. We memed it up so hard the first class. <laughs> we're like, That's dope, dude. All right, let's get your bags in and head to High Five Studios. Let's do it. Look at how tiny that bag is. I know. I was making fun. <laughs> I told you. Everyone's making fun of my bag. We're here for like a day. We don't know. <laughs> this bag is like tiny, dude. I think that's bigger than Luna's. Okay, that roast of mine made no sense. I meant the bag was actually smaller than Luna's suitcase. Luna has a suitcase and that bag was smaller. That was my joke and I failed. You know all of them though, right? Uh, pretty much, not really. Right. I know Tanner. This is yeah. Woods, this is Paul, that's Boils. That's so me. All right, let's do this. You're actually gonna go to the bathroom? We gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, you wow. gotta settle down, we gotta take a look. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Welcome, check this out guys. It's ridiculous. You want some pastries? We saw this on your story and we were like, I know that's not the Tesla. I'm like, they did something Dude, else. no, this is the Tesla. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're gonna drive away now. They're all going to the bathroom, but we're getting pushed out. This is actually super funny. Oh, there they are though. Oh wait, there they right are. There. That'd have been good vlog uh, content. Hey. You guys, we literally were driving away. We're back at headquarters now. This How is the is first it, time Quinn and second? Chez are going to see Hi5 Studios. Well, what do you expect? I don't know what to say, I'm not good at this. <laughs> he does it all the time. I'm not good at this thing, man. He's just like got 80 vlogs up. Here we go, here we go. Grab all your stuff. Hey, wait! Oh, look, it's everyone's clapping for you. I never get that, what the heck? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> welcome to High Five Studios. Everyone, this is oh, Quinn man. and Chez. Hi. Yet. <laughs> that's Sam. This is Chez, that's hey. Quinn. Hi. Hi. Okay. That's Tanner, he's got a giant donut in his <laughs> mouth. All right, dude, I want to give you a tour. Check this out, that's Battle Universe. This is the control room. I mean, you're, you've seen, seen all like this stuff. Day. It's just different to kind of see what? it in person. <laughs> he's hiding. What's up, dude? That's, that's Gunner. That scared me, dude. <laughs> Cafeteria right here. There's Tanner again. Another donut? That dude might have a problem. And All right. Look who it is. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you with him. That was the most awkward interaction. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know whether he was like trying to follow me through the, the camera. camera. What do you think, man? I don't know what else to say besides it's cool like a million times. That's what it is. <laughs> what do you think, dude? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Am I bugging hey. you guys? Hey, it's Quinn. Up, Hi, Chez, it's Mike and Catherine. How you doing, man? I'm trying to make it awkward. Uh, we call you the Quinn's Brian. Juice, yeah. Oh, Quinn's Brian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quinn's Brian. <laughs> Mike, I want you to spend some time with these musicians yeah. here, dude. You got it. No. Good lord. <laughs> Finally, like, are you moving out here today, right? You're yeah. like, you're staying yeah, I have forever. One ticket. That's it. I gave him a one-way <laughs> ticket. He's read the script. See, I told you, I couldn't play that joke on him. He beat me to it. That's why I like him. He thinks like me. <laughs> This right here is a video where I gave someone a thousand dollars and they had to spend it within 24 hours. And this right here, you're not focused on me, camera. What is what is the matter with you? This is a video that YouTube recommends, and the camera has absolutely lost focus in its job and its life. Okay, see you guys later.